Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky here in the U.S. making rounds to meet with the U.S.'s top leaders, everyone from the White House to the Capitol Hill and, of course, those presidential candidates. He's making an appeal for, of course, continued support for that war in Ukraine. And we have our Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt joining us this morning with more. Good morning, Hannah. Carla, Ian, good morning. President Zelensky is scheduled to meet with former President Trump in just a couple of hours at Trump Tower in New York. But the two disagree on a path forward for the U.S. and Ukraine, causing some tension that draws a contrast with the position of the current administration. Russia will not prevail. Ukraine will prevail and we'll continue to stand by you every step of the way. In a White House meeting, President Biden sat side by side with Ukrainian President Zelensky as he announced a new $2.4 billion security package for the country. Right now we have to strengthen Ukraine's position on the battlefield. Plus, he promised he would disperse all of the remaining approved U.S. aid by the end of his term in January. And if Vice President Kamala Harris wins the White House, she says that will continue. My support for the people of Ukraine is unwavering. But former President Donald Trump has a different approach. I believe I will be able to make a deal between President Putin and President Zelensky quite quickly. Trump and Zelensky are set to meet in person on Friday morning, a sit-down likely to be complicated by Trump's refusal to back Ukraine in its war with Russia. Do you believe that Ukraine should turn over some of its own land to Russia in order to end the war? Uh, we'll see what happens. Harris slammed the proposal for Ukraine to give up parts of its territory. They are not proposals for peace. Instead, they are proposals for surrender, which is dangerous and unacceptable. But her opponent insists the priority should be ending the war. It's not a surrender. Uh, what my strategy is to save lives. I want to save lives. Millions of people. President Zelensky was also here on Capitol Hill, where he met with both Republican and Democratic lawmakers. Live in Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.